Hey everyone, this is Johnny FD, and I'm really excited to be part of the Go Wonder WonderCon. Hello to wherever you are, whether you're watching it live, or you're watching it uh, at home in your pajamas, or you're traveling and you're watching this in some beach bungalow somewhere. It is so exciting to be part of this big growing movement. You know, I know in your group you have 45,000 people, so that's insane to me that how many people are now wanting to travel wanting to be able to do this either permanently or follow their passions. And I'm here to teach you and kind of show you how I did it and hopefully inspire and show you some very actionable tips on how you can do it as well. It's been an amazing life. I'm here in Europe and it's it's one of these kind of things. Then the reason why I called it Go Wonder, Go Wander is because that is what I encourage everybody to do. And I never thought in a million years that you could make money online, from your laptop, from really wherever you are. And we live in such a blessed time right now where we are able to do it. So let's jump straight into the presentation. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below afterwards. Uh, and go wander, go wonder. All right, so first, let's get this out of the way. I know a lot of you are going to think, why are you talking about money so much? Why does money matter? We should just be following our passions. We should be inspiring others and giving back to social enterprise. And here's the thing is money, whether we like it or not, gives us the freedom to do good or evil in the world. And we can choose to do good, but we need money or resources to be able to have that freedom to impact. By creating a location-independent passive income, that allows us to have the biggest impact because it gives us the most amount of time. And if you're working a normal job, let's say you have a nine to five job that you have to wake up at seven in the morning to go to, you drive through traffic, you know, you work all day, you get up at five, five thirty, six, you get home and you're tired, you're exhausted. And on weekends, you have to go run errands or do chores. You're not going to have time to make a big impact in following your passion or doing what you really want to do. So by having a location independent passive income business, this gives you the most amount of time and freedom to follow your passions and do what you believe in, regardless of what that is. And by doing that, it allows you to empower others. By having the financial freedom, it gives you the ability to empower and inspire others. I mean, imagine others seeing you traveling, you being happy and following your passions, and being able to afford it, being able to make enough money where they see, hey, if this person can do it, why can't I? At the end of the day, money is really just a tool that allows us to make the biggest impact, whether it's for greed or for social enterprise. But the choice is yours if you want that freedom or not. So whether you use it for good <laughs> or bad, money buys the ability to make that choice. And that is why it's important. And that's why we're talking about it today. So first, before we begin, hi, I'm Johnny FD. I'm your instructor. You can follow my blog at johnnyfd.com or at JohnnyFDK on any social media page, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. And if you want to know more, uh, I've actually been written about quite a bit on the internet uh, in the last couple of years. But I started out uh, going to Thailand in 2008 to pursue scuba diving. I was very unhappy at my normal corporate job. I worked in California. And, you know, it was a decent salary, but I just wasn't happy. You know, I grew up in San Francisco. I went through, you know, a crazy kind of childhood. I wasn't very happy. And when I finally found Thailand or travel, that's really when I kind of discovered myself. And not only did I discover how to make money online or how to make a business, but it also really transformed my life. So I've been mentioned and written about in places like entrepreneur.com, Business Insider, some Danish magazine I can't even pronounce, uh, even on Forbes and the UK's uh, The Independent, a bunch of different articles. And I've been living an amazing life. Uh, last year alone, I traveled to 17 countries and I made, and, and I still could hardly believe this myself, I made $325,000 last year. And just to have that sink in, I was making you know a great salary of $50,000 a year. I think it was $48,000 a year when I lived in Los Angeles. My expenses are way higher. This was after graduating college. I worked for a big American company. And the goal was to someday, hopefully, make six figures. And somehow, while traveling through 17 countries last year, 
including you know all of Southeast Asia, both Western and Eastern Europe, and even in the U.S. I went to Vegas, I went to Hawaii, I went to all these amazing places. Uh, this photo is actually taken in I think Bucharest, Romania, of, out of all random places in the world, and that was on our way to Transylvania to see the, the mountains and the Alps and the castles. And while traveling from just my laptop, I made not just six figures, I made three times that. I made $325,000 in one year. This year, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I've uh, cut back a little bit on work because I've been focusing more on just travel. Uh, but so far, I've lived and traveled through Thailand, through Bali. Uh, I was in Barcelona. Now I'm in Eastern Europe. And I'm going to travel more. I mean, I still have half the year left. And one of the biggest things I did was I spent 10 days walking across the Wicklow Way Mountains in Ireland with no cell phone signal and just uh, the clothes on my back uh, with a couple of friends. And this never would have been possible if it wasn't for being location dependent, uh, having passive income, and being able to travel and really just be free. But it wasn't always like that. I was literally the guy on the right. I was depressed. I, I was unhappy. I had a good life on paper. You know, I went to a good school. I got good grades. I had a good job. But I was unhappy. I, I was depressed. And I was really insecure. You know, I mean, you might look at those photos and think, oh, this guy seems like a very confident <laughs> douchebag. And I was definitely acting like a douchebag, but it wasn't because I wanted to. It was honestly because I thought that's what I needed to do, especially living in LA, to be worthy, to be able to, you know, fit in, to be able to even get a girlfriend. Uh, I, I honestly thought that by wearing Ed Hardy shirts, you know, these big silly glasses, learning how to be, you know, this pickup guy, that I would be happy, that I would, you know, I would somehow be worthy. And it, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. Uh, there, was, there was no wonder in my life. I wasn't fulfilling my, my passions. I wasn't being my authentic self. And it wasn't until I started traveling until I started discovering this. And I wish I can say that, you know, the day I, you know, <laughs> I got off the plane, I suddenly became, you know, this, um, you know, the guy that I am today, but it took a long time. And one of my favorite books while I read that first year while traveling, uh, it's called Shantaram. If you haven't read it, I highly encourage it. It's a really amazing novel. But one of the very first lines in there was, it took me a long time and most of the world to learn what I know now about love, life, fate, and the choices we make. Unlike him, the heart of it didn't come to me in an instant while I was chained to a wall in India being tortured. But it took me, you know, many years. I think it took me, you know, a few years even when I started traveling to figure out who I was. You know, I think I had left the, the U.S. and I had left Los Angeles because I was becoming someone who I didn't want to be. You know, I read a book called The Game um, about pickup uh, and I got involved in that thinking, Wow, finally, if I maybe if I can learn how to, you know, go to a bar and, and meet any girl I want, maybe then I'll be happy. And then I got into self help. I, I read The Secret and I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I can just think my way out of this. And all the things that, you know, I did and I learned before I started traveling, you know, maybe they set me up to, you know, to, to find, finally find who I am and finally, you know, figure out who, who I was. But it wasn't easy. And a big part of me growing and learning and becoming a better person was the people I met. So on the left, we have Larissa, who was literally the, the first person who's ever loved me, you know, maybe besides, besides my mom. But the first girl who's ever loved me, the, the first time I've ever been in love, the first time I had a real, I think I really had a real relationship. I mean, I had a girlfriend when I was in high school and then in college, but nobody ever loved me the way Larissa did. And, you know, even though we're not together now, she really made a huge impact on my life. She, she really convinced me and showed me that it's not about, you know, going to a, a club and getting all the attention in the world. It's not about, um, if, you know, trying to pretend, you know, you're, you're someone who you're not. 
And really, she was the first person who really made me feel comfortable with my own skin and made me realize that I was really insecure, you know, and, and that's why I tried way too hard in retrospect. And honestly, I don't even really want to talk about it because it was embarrassing. I mean, those years of my life was really, really embarrassing. But, you know, meeting her and meeting other people while traveling really opened my eyes to and let me discover who my authentic self is. Then in the middle, we have Anton, who became my first really, my real business mentor. Uh, this was in 2013 when I, f I met him at a meetup. And he was the first person who showed me how to make enough money online to replace my nine to five income. So I didn't have to move back to the US. I didn't have to get another job. And because of what he's taught me and what I've shared, I've now met hundreds, if not thousands of people who have done the same. So all these people jumping in the photo with me, you know, all these people have successful online businesses. Uh, some of them I partnered with to create um, e-commerce stores together. And it's, it's amazing not only being able to do it myself now, but also being able to share it with others and having them be successful either with their own business uh, or you know, being able to share uh, in the journey as well. So here's a quote by Anthony Bourdain that I really, really liked and really touched me. It's, it's, travel changes you. As you move through this life and this world, you change things slightly. You leave marks behind, however small, and in return, life and travel leaves marks on you. And I really, really believe in this, where I know that travel has changed me, and I know that with the, everyone we meet, everyone we touch, it it ends up, you know, we end up influencing each other. And the travel, it really changes us to, to you know, a great part. And this is all part of the kind of the discovery of who, who we are. So from being a kind of unhappy, chubby, you know, fat kid who's always really insecure to being a bit of a douchebag when I lived in LA uh, and going through all of that to learning how to be a scuba dive master, to doing Muay Thai, to you know where I am today, I've documented all of this on my blog. If you if you want to read more about it, uh, you can just go to johnnyfd.com/real, and that goes through my whole life story. And it's it's not all it's not all pleasant. So, you know, it's but it's out there, and that's my big first step in be, <clears throat> just moving on and being, you know, who I am today. And I love this community that everyone is non-judgmental, and it's not you know like the normal online groups uh, or Facebook comments where everyone wants to kind of hold each other back. And I love the positivity of it. So let's move on to getting like really like turning our passions into profit. Because I think when we're always thinking about the past uh, or what we could have done differently, we never think in the future. If we're always looking for the negatives, we are never looking at the positives and never looking at what can be and what should be. So this is how you turn your passion into profit. Whether, whatever it is that you love, that you're drawn to, or you're inspired to be, chances are somebody else in the world feels the exact same way as you. And what's amazing is now that the world is connected with the internet, with social media, it makes it so much easier to reach those people. So I guarantee you, whatever your passion is, whatever, whatever it is that you really desire, I guarantee you there's someone else, <clears throat> there's probably hundreds if not thousands of people who feel exactly the way you do. And for the first time in our lives, the first time in the history of humankind, we can actually reach them. So this was what's beautiful about all these different platforms, you know, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, writing a blog on WordPress, sharing blogs on LinkedIn, having a Tumblr, having photos, Whatever it is, the first step really is to share your unique journey through content. And when I say unique journey, I don't mean, you know, share what you think uh, you should share, you know, to be, be the next um, Instagram travel model who is already famous. I mean, it's those spots are available. You could try to compete with them, but here's your opportunity to really be unique and be authentic and share your journey in your way. You can do it through video. Uh, these are some of my YouTube videos 
that I uploaded recently. And if you if you read some of the titles, I talk about everything that interests me. I talk a lot about travel. Uh, I talk about minimalism. Uh, I started exploring home buying uh, and real estate investing, so I started making videos on that. I have a 30 minute video about the that documented an entire eight day walk through Ireland, uh, and it's it's crazy that even though my videos are so diverse, and I honestly thought that I would be the only one in the world who would be interested in this unique mix of travel, business, minimalism, um, and hiking, but there are people, and there are thousands of people who are interested in the, the exact same thing. You can do this through your photos as well. This is my Instagram page, uh, Johnny FDK, if you want to find it. And same thing, I, I post photos about nature, about travel, I love food. Uh, I like good beer. I like craft beer and Guinness. Um, and I love scuba diving. And it, these are these are things that now everybody can share. So whatever your interest and your passion is, start sharing it if you haven't already. So this comes to how do you actually make money from all this? You know, you, Johnny, you just spent all this time, you know, talking about your life um, and how you, you know, just blog and you share photos and videos, like you might already be thinking, I do that already. How come I don't, I'm not making a hundred thousand dollars a year. So here's the secret. And this is really why I was invited to come speak uh, at th this event is because a lot of people only think about the content part. They just think about, okay, I'm going to write blog posts or I'm going to make videos or I'm going to take photos and that's it. They're not thinking about the other parts. So Really, there's four parts of this income machine, this passive income machine. And I'm actually currently in the middle of launching Income Boss, which is my online course. And it's actually version two of what I used to call Earnest Affiliate. Uh, so Earnest Affiliate was about how to monetize your audience, whether it's a blog or a website or a YouTube channel with Earnest Affiliate commissions, which basically means you partner with a product and you get affiliate commissions for referring people to it. And the, the reason why the earnest was there is I highly encourage everyone to only share and promote things that they personally use and they genuinely believe in. So the reason why version two of the course is now called Income Boss is because I realized the monetization is actually just one part of the whole system. That's really part four, the, the sale part, actually selling the product. And I also realized once you have the other three gears in place, you can really sell anything. It doesn't have to be an affiliate product. You can manufacture your own product if you want. You can sell coaching. You can sell you know, your own physical products or digital products or courses, really whatever it is. Once you have the machine working and you have the first three parts, the product part is actually pretty easy. So this is what I'm gonna go over with uh, all of you today. Obviously, if you wanna take the whole course and you know see the the back end of it, how everything works, um, have kind of walkthroughs. You can always check out incomeboss.com, but I'm gonna give you the overview so you have all the tools you need to do it yourself uh, even before then. So the first part is the traffic. How do you actually get people to your content once it's written? And a lot of you might already have content. You have, might have blog posts, you might have a website, you might have you know videos, whatever it is. How do you actually get people to get uh, to that site? Uh, I'm going to use an example of one of my reviews I made of a travel backpack. It's my current backpack. It's the one I still use today. And I think it's the best backpack out there. You know, this is my own personal opinion. Uh, and I wanted to share that opinion. So I wrote a blog post uh, called the PackSafe Travel Backpack Review. If you're not uh, familiar with it, PackSafe is a company that a lot of uh, photographers use or a lot of people with, you know, expensive laptops and uh, equipment use because they don't want people to pickpocket um, their bag while they're on a subway in a metro or just walking around. It's very sturdy. Um, it also has these mesh wire inside where if somebody walks by and cuts it, uh, the mesh metal will actually hold your contents in place so nobody can steal your stuff. So, you know, it's a great product. Uh, so I wrote a review and here are some examples of how I use social media, uh, not only when I first wrote it, but how I continue to use it to generate traffic even after two years of writing this post and how it still makes me money today. So uh, on the top left, this is my YouTube video. 
where I made the video over a year ago when this uh, post was written. And you can see it has 27,000 views on it now because a lot of people are searching on YouTube or Googling, you know, pack safe um, review or the model number of the actual bag. And they find the video and when they click the link, it goes to my review. So if you want to check out the review, it's johnnyfd.com slash packsafe. Uh, on the the bottom left, it's Twitter. Two years, you know, after um, reading this review, it's still my favorite travel backpack. It's a tweet. And guess what happens is Packsafe ended up retweeting it because they love it when they have happy customers that have written reviews about a product. Uh, and that's giving me more visitors to this again. Uh, on the right is my personal Facebook page or my uh, business page, Facebook page, Johnny FD. And you can do it on either. You can actually share it on both. Uh, I wrote a little post, say, hey, I can't believe it's been two years since I bought this backpack and I still love it. Um, it saved me through some of the most dangerous places on earth for tourists, including South Africa and Barcelona for par- pickpockets, uh, all across Southeast Asia and Bali. Read my review here. And now I'm getting traffic to this post you know, not only when I first wrote it, but throughout these two years and again now. So as far as the content, if you go to the blog post, if you click any of the links, either in, in the video, the, the tweet, the um, Facebook post, even the, the pinned uh, Pinterest image, it takes you to my blog post. And, you know, that's when I have the recap about it, I have the video embedded. And very importantly, I have a list of the gear I'm actually talking about which are affiliate links to the products. And I'll tell you, talk about that in a second. But even before we talk about selling the product, you need to re-engage people and get them to come back to your site because a lot of times people don't buy things on the very first time. And that's when marketing come, comes into point. It's pretty easy to get a lot of traffic. It's really hard to get people to subscribe, to come back again, uh, to really have a reason to buy something, and especially if they're gonna buy it, buy it through your link. So two ways to do it is collect email addresses and send them you know, tips. Uh, so this email is my favorite travel gear for 2017. In there, I can have not only a link to the review, but also a link to my Amazon affiliate um, link to the product and people can buy it there. I've also talked about it on my podcast. And if you go to the show notes of that podcast, you'll see that you could also click it and buy it from there. So this is where the sale actually comes in, right? This is, I think, something that a lot of people, they skip or they're just unsure of and they don't realize how actually easy it is where they might have good content. Maybe they have a big social media following. You know, maybe you have a lot of visitors to your site, but they're not buying anything. And it might just be because it's not easy for them to buy something. You're not, you know, um, putting it kind of everywhere (laughs) where, people can just click the link and buy it. You know, people have the people to search for themselves. So in the show notes of my podcast, you can see I have links to the products and those are affiliate links where I get credit for sending people to that product. Uh, for the North Face rolling duffel, which is my big bag, my uh, pack safe backpack, which is the smaller bag and packing cubes, which I talked about in my uh, travel packing and minimalism podcast, which is episode 171 of Travel Like a Boss. If you want to take a listen to that, I'm a big fan of travel cubes, uh, packing cubes. If you haven't bought them, if you haven't started using them yet, I highly, highly recommend them. They've really changed my life when it comes to packing. So on the right, I also have my links in my blog post. The same thing, the pack safe, uh, venture safe backpack, the travel locks I use, my Roost laptop stand, I even talked about some other things and I have links to pretty much everything I talk about that I personally use and I personally promote. All right, so you might might be wondering how much money do you actually make from these posts? And what's really cool is this is just a screenshot from my last, I think my last year uh, as an Amazon associate. And you can see that for this backpack, even though I wrote this post, you know, two years ago, in the last year, I've sold 12 of them through my links, so about average one a month. And I've made close to $100 from just this product. But what's really cool about being an Amazon affiliate is you get credit 
for anything people buy in that shopping cart and as well as currently around 24 hours of them clicking your link. So I've sold a ton of different products, uh, let's say like the four hour work week uh, or a, you know, uh, something else, like another backpack, maybe the packing cubes, maybe some other products along with this because when they're buying this backpack, they might be ready to travel, they might wanna buy some other things along with it. So really, really adds up, adds up to thousands of dollars. You know, for Amazon, I made $1,600 um, from just these links. And here's a big secret is, even though I make money as an Amazon affiliate, that's not my main sources of income. Uh, the reason why I use this as an example is because I think physical products is the easiest thing to kind of wrap people's heads around. It's easy as the first step to start. Anybody can be an Amazon affiliate. Uh, it's just just a very simple way to get in. But in reality, uh, inside the course, I, I mainly focus on getting people to sell digital products or um, other things that are either higher value um, <laughs> that aren't you know a backpack, things that pay higher commissions, and just in general, like things that make a lot more money. So this is another one of my my products that that I sell. Um, so and. It's one of those things where it's it's amazing because you can do this while traveling the world. You know, whether you are promoting physical products using Amazon or if you are selling things directly through, um, you know, through a, a manufacturer or a company and they're paying you a higher commission. If you're selling your own products or digital products, it's possible to do anywhere you are in the world, and that's amazing. So. Last year, I made doing this. I mean, literally, just exactly what I described. Those four steps. I made three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, which is insane to me. And what's really cool is I've been able to reach a ton of people. Even you know, I've I've reached one point four million people through through my blog, through my podcast, through my YouTube channel, and I've done this all a hundred percent location independently. So the process is simple. I mean, it's not easy. Everything takes hard work. It takes takes a lot of time to build up, but it, it's straightforward and it's simple. First, it's to share good, genuine content. You know, whether you find the best destination in the world that you want to share and talk about, maybe it's a, a little known island in the Philippines that nobody knows about yet, but you know it's amazing. Share that. But once people come to your site, don't forget. If you want to actually make money from this and you actually want it to be your full-time job and career so you can continue doing it, you can use that money for good, you can use that money to donate to charities or causes, uh, if you want to, you know, it'll create a passion, whatever it is, you have to learn some marketing and you have to monetize and you can do it as an earnest affiliate and only promote things that you genuinely believe in and things that you use yourself, which is what I recommend and what I really preach hard in the course. Uh, or, you know, you can sell, you know, really whatever you want and what you have an audience. The choice is up to you whether you use these powers for good or evil. All right, so that is it. It's a simple, straightforward process. I'm assuming a lot of you are already creating content. Now you just have to go back, market it, monetize it, and let me know how it all goes. You can follow me at Johnny FDK on Facebook, on Instagram, on U uh, YouTube. I think it might be Johnny FD, but just look for Johnny FD. It's it's pretty easy. Uh, go to my website JohnnyFD.com if you want to learn more. Uh, check out my course Income Boss if you want kind of some hand holding through it step by step. But honestly, I've already given you all the information that you need to get started. So if you need, rewind this video, watch it again, and really kind of go through. Figure out what it is that your passion is, what it is that gives unique value to your followers, who is your authentic self. Remember, it's not so easy to, to openly share. I, th I think all of us you know, are still learning today. I mean, I think even after being financially successful and traveling to so many places, I'm still learning things every single day. And that's why I appreciate communities uh, that I found. And you guys are lucky to uh, be part of this one. So uh, follow me, Johnny FD. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me in the Facebook comments, ask me on my blog, uh, you know, find me wherever I am in the world. And thanks so much for, for following along and best of luck in your journey. I'll see you next time or somewhere in the world. Bye-bye.